big thanks to, um, well, uh, big thanks to whatever your username is. That was a seriously awesome intro. You should have included your username in the email, dude. The first time I watched that, my head bobbed back and forth. I just about lost it. Also from my inbox. <sighs> that's the only one I got, butt kickers. Where's everyone else's? Send them to it's the program at gmail.com. That is, if you think you kick as much butt as Witchcraft98. Good morning all, it's January 14, the 14th day of 2011, which means if you inexplicably follow the 13-day slower Julian calendar instead of the traditional Gregorian one, Happy New Year! Quick catch-up for all you Julians out there, 2011 is a chick, and her name is Rosalina Estrella Conejo. She's the International Year of Protecting Your Lawn from Zombies. I'm her Master of Ceremonies, Griff, and if you seriously want to watch this program, I would make up for those 13 days of butt kicking you missed post haste. I wonder if New Year's resolutions are a little hard for Julian calendar followers. Like they might resolve to go to the gym daily, but all of the places are full and can't accept their membership. Don't fret, Julians. All those people occupying the gym, especially the unfit, disgruntled looking ones, will probably be out of there by mid February. Oh, wait, for you it would be more like early February. Or, er, uh, duh, I'm confused. In more mixed-up month news, hold on to your tinfoil hats because horoscopes are changing. Thanks to stargazers from the Minnesota Planetarium Society, it has been revealed that the alignment of the stars has been pushed out by about a month because of the moon's gravitational pull on the Earth. This means that some people who had previously believed that they were uber-efficient Virgos are now slap-happy Leos, like me. It also means that a number of stubborn pig-headed Torians are now a new 13th astrological sign entirely. And like uber-efficient and stubborn people kind of tend to be, the V's and T's are a little peeved. The internet has of course exploded with self-help forums and chat rooms, buzzing with people trying to pick up the shrapnel of their destroyed lives. All of you Virgos who are Leos now have been living lies this whole time. What is the truth anymore? What's the point in existing if the clearly set in stone template for life has been thrown off kilter? How can you look at yourself in the mirror? Who are you? Meanwhile, sane people don't care. And what about all those Julian calendar followers? What the heck horoscope should they follow now? As far as I'm concerned, everyone who's involved with 2011 with Griff has the same astrological sign, and it looks like this. And your horoscope for every day, for every month, for every year will look the same. The stars predict that you will kick major butt. Until tomorrow, I'm Griff, still a Leo and still talking.